welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Caroline. Okay, so today I'm super excited. We are going to bake some stuff I found on Pinterest. Who is she actually doing what she posts? I mean, what she pins on Pinterest? Who does that? Me. Um, <laughs> mind you, I've had it there for like three years now, but we're gonna do it. And we are going to make some chili just because I really feel like making chili. It's my dad's, I'm gonna say it's my dad's recipe because he's been making it since I was little, but it's pretty basic and easy. So I'll definitely have the recipe or instructions, whatever, in the description box um, because it's super easy. And he's been making it my entire life and I love it. And so I called him yesterday and I was like placing my online order for my groceries and I was like Bob please tell me what I need and so he's like you're making it I'm like yup and so he's like okay so he told me all this stuff anyways we're excited about that we're having chili for dinner today we're gonna make um I don't even know what it's called they're like these little twisty things I'll show you everything that I'm making is super super easy it's probably like two to three ingredients I do have something else that I want to make that I found on YouTube, uh, but I don't know if I'm making that because I don't even know if I have all the stuff. So we're going to take it little by little. I want to start to bake more and to cook different stuff here on my channel. So we'll be doing more of that. So make sure that you're subscribed. You have your notification bell on so that every time I post, you get notified. And let's get to it. I'm super excited. Okay, guys. So the first... Um, recipe that we are making literally all you need is two things um, and it's called it's an apple cobbler and I'm gonna have um, the instructions in the description box the website of the lady who makes it is called the lazy dish is this my website <laughs> I love her already See, if I could describe my cooking style, I would say lazy. Mm -hmm. I got too much going on to be sitting here with 500,000 ingredients, but it. look how good it looks. Um, so on top of it, you put ice cream. So I have the ice cream, I have everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it and then we'll put it to the side and we'll warm it up once they all get home. Um, and then, so let's just let's just start. Um, so we have to put we have to preheat the oven to 375. Bake. Oops. Start. Do y'all keep crap in your 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 oven? Like, do you save stuff in there? This is clean. I just I'm not gonna. Listen, I have it in the right place sometimes and I'm wrestling through everything when I'm trying to cook and I'm trying to hurry and then it all just falls apart and I'm like, oh! so I just keep it in the oven. Most of the time that's what I use, but today we're not. So the two ingredients is cinnamon rolls and apple filler, right? It's called apple pie filling or topping. I just got the Walmart brand. Um, yeah, so these are the two things. And then you'll need ice cream for the top and then just like a little deep dish. Anyways, let's get started. I'm talking too much. This let's is a great angle, right? <laughs> Anyways, we do what we can. Okay, so first thing, like I said before, this these are the only two ingredients that you will need. Um, so let's open this. So you're gonna cut these in fours. Guys, how often do you clean your oven? Comment down below. How often do you clean your oven? I do mine maybe once a year. Y cuidado.
the end result. Um, I sort of burned it a little. <laughs> I completely forgot, guys. I was doing the chili and I was like, la la la. And then I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go sit down. And I was like, <gasps> the oven. It's okay, though. It doesn't look that bad. Um, so now, once it cools off, I'm going to get some ice cream and serve it. It's called Pumpkin Pie Twist. I found it on Pinterest. I will have the link in the description box if you guys want to make it. So let me get all of our stuff together. I hope that I have everything. I don't know if I have brown sugar. Does it matter? Because I have regular sugar. Oh, we need re regular sugar too. And we need whipped cream. I have frozen whipped cream. <laughs> Man. All right, let me check if I have Y'all, we got sugar. I hope it's not expired. All right. Why does brown sugar smell like that? Or is that expired? It smells like not sweet. It's not expired. It expires March 5th, 2022. But it's hard. Is something wrong with this? It's like moisture in there. Closed container away from moisture. Whatever, guys. If they don't kill you, it makes you stronger. <laughs> I swear I'm funny. <laughs> I can't do it. No, I'm not. <laughs> that was funny. Did y'all catch that? My joke? It looks like it's bad, but I'm like... Well, I mean, okay, anyways, joke is over, Caroline, you're done. All right, so let's continue. <laughs> I'm, oh my gosh, guys, so what was I gonna say? I need to focus because y'all know my brain don't function like normal people. What website is this, ladies? One little project. Is that your website, lady? Yeah, one little project. All right, let's go to your website. Cheese Louise. One little project.com got it okay so what was this called pumpkin pie twist search here we go thank you ma'am i just need to know what the oven temp needs to be Ten years later. <laughs> Stop it, Caroline. Right, full. I don't know. This is starting to look a little hard. I wasn't. I'm trying to do something easy. I'm going. Because nobody's going to even eat this. I don't think anybody in my house likes pumpkin except for me. Okay, here we go. Instructions 375. What did I put it on? I think I did that already. Okay, preheat oven, line baking sheet with parchment paper. In a small bowl, mix together the pumpkin pie puree, brown sugar, maple syrup, and pumpkin spice. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let, let, where are we going to do this? Okay, so we need one fourth of a cup of brown sugar. Why is this so hard? Is this normal, guys? I think my, my stuff went bad because I didn't store it for properly. But we're going to go with it because that's all we got. And I'm not... <laughs> Sounded like a rock. Okay. One. It said one teaspoon, but I lost my teaspoon measuring thingy. I'm going to buy cute ones because... If I'm going to be baking, I need to do it right. All right, that seems okay. All right, now what? Tablespoon, okay. Tablespoon is this one. That looks good. <laughs> okay, so now we have to mix this together should I get out my mixing thingy you know what I'm gonna ask for for Christmas I'm gonna ask for uh, what's that thing called 
a KitchenAid, you know, like the one that you, come on, mix. This looks like a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ask for a KitchenAid for Christmas because, you know, if we're gonna be doing this, we need to do it right. We need to be real big girls. My husband's not gonna go for it. I'm gonna have to prove myself before Christmas. I'm gonna spread. Spread. Still smells like pumpkin. I love pumpkin pie, guys. Literally, it's my favorite pie ever. Um, I, well, listen, I'm a fatty. So yeah, I like all pies. <laughs> I so there's this this YouTuber that I follow and she they have for Thanksgiving they'll have like their whole neighborhood will have a pie day so everybody brings like a pie and then you you know it'll be in someone's house and then everybody tries the pies and oh my gosh I was like I totally want to do that but you know Okay, so she said two to three inches. Are we gonna get technical? No, we're not. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, well, good thing I didn't put so much of that mixture because it's like popping out already. There was still more left in there. This will do. We have to generously brush butter on each one. Guys, I swear, so good. <laughs> oh my God. This is dangerous. I could eat all of it. Bae, you wanna try? What is this? Yeah, just take half of it. Be honest. I know you don't really like um, pumpkin. Pumpkin pie? Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. It is? Yes. Wow. I 10 plus good. years and I don't know <laughs> that you like pumpkin. It's because I always eat it. Mad good. You like it? Yep. Does it make you want to eat all of it? Because I told you want to eat the whole I'm thing. I'm going to.
Okay, so I'm gonna put um, every the chili in the crock pot. So I cooked up the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. My dad makes it on a stove top, but I don't feel like doing all that. So we are going to do it our way. Now we just add, you pick, you could put whatever beans you like. You're not supposed to drain them. So I'm putting red kidney beans. We're doing light red. It's chili beans. It says red beans and chili sauce. I don't know if I should take that. Nah, just whatever. Put it in. <laughs> All right. And then the diced tomatoes. This is a big pack. And you pour that in. And then you're supposed to do whole tomatoes that are peeled. Okay, now we're gonna mix it. He said that when you get the like the big chunks to kind of like chop them in half. All right, hopefully it fits. <laughs> we got all of our peppers here. definitely shrink down once all the vegetables and stuff gets cooked so it'll be fine all right now I'm gonna cover it and leave it for four hours here's the chili came out so good all right this is my OOTD um, I got this from Ross actually I think I got both of these from Ross this is just like a one piece super stretchy and comfortable and then I got my sandals from Amazon and then my earrings are from Walmart. And I did my hair yesterday. I slept in it. I put my fingers through it and called it a day. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm wearing today.